There you go. Do you need another blanket? Do you not want a blanket? I wish you could talk to me. It's okay, Blue. It's okay. Callum is a vet. He will know exactly what to do. We'll get you feeling better in no time. That must be him. If you don't stop bringing strays into this cabin, you are never getting your safety deposit back. Thank you so much for coming over. Wait. Um, before you go in, there's just one thing. Now, don't freak out, but it's actually not an alpaca. A mountain lion? No, 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 no. Just hear me out. No, no, you can't bring wild animals into your house. It's okay, though. No, it's not okay. You need to call Fish and Wildlife. I knew you'd say that. I knew you wouldn't want to come if I told you. That is a dangerous predator. Get back from there. But it's not like a regular mountain lion, and it's injured. I'm calling Fish and Wildlife right now. No, no, you can't. Give me my phone. Just listen. Look at it. Blue eyes. It's not a normal cougar. It's a human trapped in a cougar's body. It found me that night I spent in the woods, and it told me it needed help. Are you positive you didn't hit your head? I know it sounds crazy, but I can show you. It can understand what we're saying. Look. Stay away from it. Ask it anything. Uh, can you understand us? Yes, see? It's nodding. Do you know where you are? No. Well, you're at my house. Stay away from it. I'm telling you, it's a person. Are you a person trapped in a cougar body? Yes. Did you see it nod? This is getting really weird. I know. I know, but when I spent the night in the woods, it took me to its den. To eat you? To save me. Save you from what? It hid me from the same cougar that attacked it today. It fought the cougar to protect you? No, it it ran away at first. Come on, listen to yourself. Please, please, you have to help. There's a hunter looking for it to kill it. It's not safe in the woods, and it's not safe anywhere else except here. You can't keep a wild animal in your house. It's not safe. Remember when we got really drunk on the dock, and you said you would do anything for me? You said if I called in a favor, you would come and help me, no questions asked. (sighs) Yeah, but I meant... Like, get rid of a body or something like that. Help me. Please, I need you. We did a pinky promise that's a binding contract. (sighs) This is the last wild thing I help you with. Understand? You stay back here. But it trusts me. What did I just say? Hey there, kitty. I've been calling them blue. Does it look bad? I'm not getting a good look until it's sedated. But some of these cuts look really deep. Uh, The bacteria in cat bites is pretty nasty stuff. I feel awful. I should have just brought it back with me when I ran into the other cougar. What possessed you to go out looking for it in the first place? I told you, it's a person. They got turned into a cougar somehow. Don't look at me like that. I'm trying to figure out how to turn them back. You don't have to believe me, but if you can help, you'd be saving a life. I'll help you. 
but you cannot keep it in your house. Hey! <laughs> they licked you. Aw. Okay, let's get you some happy drugs to calm you down. Shh. Easy now. Easy. There you go. Just relax. can't see any dry fur. Uh, this is going to be a nightmare to patch up. But most of these are pretty superficial so I can glue the skin. Some of these though? Wow. Hey, 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 easy. I'm gonna give this a minute to kick in. Cat, no! They're scared and in pain. They just need some comfort. I'm just gonna scratch their head. Like I said, there's a hunter in town who's looking for Blue. He said he wants them mounted for his trophy room because it's something rare and unusual. But in taxidermy, you can't preserve the eyes. They're glass. So, I know he's lying. Do you think... Do you think he knows Blue is a person? Maybe the hunter is really a murderer and he's gone all most dangerous game. If you insist on being so close, at least help me. Take this Celine and rinse what you can see. <sighs> okay. Then take this and dab it dry. I know, I know, I'm sorry. <sighs> and hold the edges of the wound together while I glue it. Good. Now, rinse and repeat. Hey, why don't you just ask him about it? Ask him why he's really after this cougar. Uh-uh, no. I got a bad vibe from him. I asked every magic practitioner in town about a spell like this, and none of them even knew what I was talking about. <laughs> They were all so weird about it, like they couldn't wait to get away from me. Maybe they know something and are afraid to talk. Afraid of what? I wish you could talk to me, Blue. What am I supposed to do? How can I help you? <sighs> this one on the shoulder is a lot deeper. I'm going to have to stitch that one up. I'm gonna up the dose a little bit. Since this is a wild animal, you owe me big time. I know. It's okay, Blue. We'll get you fixed up. You can't keep this in the house, Cat. I don't care what it used to be. It's not safe. Any animal when in pain can attack. Even loyal dogs can do it. Okay, I'll figure something out. These are strong antibiotics, but bacteria from cat bites is tough. Don't get your hopes up. Predators hide injury really well, and we don't know what else happened that we can't see. Tomorrow, you call Fish and Wildlife, first thing. Okay. I'm serious. Okay. You can't stay here tonight. It's too dangerous. I know. Thank you. Hey, Blue. How are you feeling? I'm so sorry. I wish I knew how I could help you. You're safe here, though. Your paws are so sweaty. You must be in a lot of pain. I fell into a truck bed of barbed wire once, and I thought that was bad. I'm going to help you, I promise. Try to get some sleep. 
I'm going to find Jade tomorrow. I think she might be able to help us.